About 25 years ago, I was a senior in high school contemplating where I would go to college. I had never visited Louisiana. In fact, I had no ties to this state. One night, during a music lesson with my trumpet teacher, he suggested that I try out for a band scholarship at his alma mater, LSU. That chance recommendation changed the course of my life. A few months later, I became a member of the Golden Band from Tigerland. The first moment I stepped out onto that field, played those four notes, and felt the roar of the crowd was the beginning of a very special relationship between me and LSU. A relationship that gradually kindled in me a dream for our whole state that I want to share with you today. During my fourth year at LSU, n not my senior year, a group, of, uh, <laughs> a group of business, civic, and political leaders had created a state government reform commission focused on identifying changes Louisiana could make to position itself for a brighter future. They thought it would make sense to include a couple college students on that group, including me. For the first time, I realized Louisiana wasn't ranked 49th or 50th by accident, but rather that a series of poor public policy choices over time had contributed to our state's low educational attainment levels, high poverty rates, unconventional tax structure and healthcare system, and a lackluster economy. During the course of that experience, I developed the spark of an idea. What if we could change those things? What if we could preserve all the unique and endearing aspects of Louisiana's food, culture, festivals, and traditions, and change only those things that held back our economic growth? What if we could make our economy as vibrant as our culture? Today, I'm going to talk about what's possible for the future of Louisiana. I'm going to share what we could accomplish together if we're willing to dream big enough and work hard enough to get there. Louisiana is a state blessed with incredible geographic assets, including its Gulf of Mexico location, the Mississippi River, and abundant natural resources. Over the course of decades, these assets helped enable the creation of several major industries here, including timber and wood products, agriculture and agriculture-related businesses, energy, petrochemicals, and shipbuilding. Unfortunately, these industries obviously haven't been enough to produce sustained, healthy job growth for our state over long stretches of time, at least not in comparison to the rest of the South and the country overall. At the same time, the city of New Orleans, which was once the biggest city in the South, gradually lost its leadership position as one of America's top cities for commerce. In modern times, this reality was particularly evident during the 25-year period from the summer of 1980 to just before Hurricane Katrina in 2005 a period of time during which Louisiana's economy so heavily underperformed that of the South and the nation that we were the only state in the South to experience almost 25 consecutive years in a row of population outmigration, as more than 600,000 people left our state in search of better job opportunities elsewhere. Fortunately, since the onset of the Great Recession over six years ago, Louisiana's economy has actually outperformed the South and the country private sector job growth ranking second best in the South and fifth best in America. Additionally, over the next few years, we're going to experience the biggest manufacturing boom in state history, alongside rapid growth in ultra deep water oil and gas exploration, and likely a, re a return of activity in the Haynesville Shale. Part manufacturing boom, part energy boom. Tens of thousands of new jobs will be created. What will we do with it? Will we become complacent with all the new revenue like our state so often has been during past booms? Or will we seize this moment as an opportunity to enact a compelling economic strategy and make targeted investments to position us for sustained prosperity? Imagine where we could go in the future if we could sustain our recent momentum when our country is growing again. If we look back at the last few decades prior to the Great Recession, States like Georgia, North Carolina, and Texas were regularly growing at a rate of about 2% per year. Now, that may not seem very fast to you, but 2% per year growth for Louisiana would represent 40,000 jobs per year. If we were to grow at a rate of 40,000 jobs per year in Louisiana, it would be transformational. According to long-term growth forecast by Moody's, that growth rate would make Louisiana one of the fastest-growing states in the South and the country 
over the next few decades. With a surplus of good jobs, more Louisiana citizens can achieve the American dream right here in Louisiana. Poverty would decline. Crime rates would decline. Education outcomes would improve. There would be more support for arts, culture, and nonprofits. All of these things, all of them, are heavily connected to the availability of good jobs. What would our state's future look like if we could consistently grow at a rate of about 40,000 jobs per year? Well, let's take a look at the numbers. By next year, we would hit the 2 million job mark in Louisiana for the first time. By 2018, just a few years from now, our state's population would hit the 5 million mark for the first time. After the 2020 census, thanks to our state's rapid economic growth, we would get back the congressional seat we lost after Hurricane Katrina. By 2026, more than a million people will have moved to Louisiana from other places around the world in search of job opportunities here. Imagine Louisiana with a million new residents. That would mean more concerts, more art, more domestic and international flights. We might even get an Ikea. <clears throat> After the 2030 census, we would regain a second congressional seat the one that we lost after the 1980s oil bust. And by 2034, our population will have hit 7 million people. We will have become one of the great growth states of the South and of America. I feel pretty strongly by this point that Mississippi will ask to be annexed. <laughs> by the same year, our job total will hit the 3 million mark for the first time. What about those who faced economic hardship among us? By approximately 2037, Louisiana's poverty rate would fall below the southern average for the first time in the recorded history of poverty statistics in the United States. And believe it or not, after the 2040 census, we would gain a third congressional seat, giving us an all-time high of nine congressional House members. Let's imagine for a moment how this growth, how communities across Louisiana would both contribute to and benefit from this growth. And keep in mind that Louisiana is not a single homogeneous economy, but rather a collection of eight distinct regional economies, each anchored by a city and each with both urban and rural communities. Northeast Louisiana is home to some of the poorest zip codes in America, but it also has two of our state's most exciting growth opportunities. Home to CenturyLink, Louisiana's largest Fortune 500 company, Monroe can become a hub for tech jobs associated with CenturyLink's top technology suppliers. Additionally, while there hasn't been a single new major automotive assembly plant announced in America in more than five years, we believe there will be one in the near future. We can attract them to the Franklin Farm mega site just 30 minutes from Monroe, creating thousands of good jobs in the process. With the recent announcement of Fortune 500 CSC's 800 job technology and cybersecurity center, the shreveport Bossier area is beginning to fulfill its long-held dream for the National Cyber Research Park to become a hub for major federal defense contractors like Boeing and Lockheed Martin that are working on our nation's cybersecurity. That, coupled with the magical animation of Moonbot Studios and a growing manufacturing sector, will position Northwest Louisiana to be one of the growth engines of Louisiana's economy. Central Louisiana, anchored by Alexandria, has long been known for the wood products industry, but it has a national gem in its former Air Force Base, England Air Park. We can leverage this unique asset as the catalyst to create Louisiana's new center of excellence for advanced manufacturing with new growth opportunities like aerospace, automotive, and machinery manufacturing that could build on our existing manufacturing anchors like Union Tank Car and Procter & Gamble. Home to huge oil refineries and chemical plants that drive the regional economy, Lake Charles in southwest Louisiana will be the epicenter of America's manufacturing renaissance, catalyzed by cheap natural gas, with companies like Sassol, Chenier, and Sempra investing tens of billions of dollars there. The most entrepreneurial community in our state, Lafayette, has long been known for Cajun innovation in oil-filled services, and it's becoming so much more. New opportunities are already on the horizon with Bell Helicopters, new Jet Ranger X helicopter manufacturing facility, and Acadiana also can become a hub for software development and digital media. 
whether you're from up the bayou or down the bayou, you know that the Homa Thibodeau area of Louisiana knows the energy industry. And no part of our country will benefit more from the coming boom in ultra deep water oil and gas exploration as companies like Shell, Schwest, and Danos race to keep up with demand, creating thousands of new jobs in the process. Meanwhile, the shipbuilding sector there also will experience rapid growth. Right here in Baton Rouge, possibility abounds. With our state's flagship research university, an unrivaled petrochemical quarter, and a bold business community. The region can capitalize on its new software development sector with big names like EA and IBM, while also cultivating new manufacturing opportunities in the outlying parishes. And finally, I believe the city of New Orleans will become known as the greatest comeback city in America of the 21st century. The area will experience rapid growth in high-tech jobs and healthcare, entrepreneurship, and trade-related commerce, with the Port of New Orleans leading the way for the state in cargo volumes. It also will become the surprisingly robust new go-to location for corporate headquarters relocations, not just in New Orleans proper, but on the North Shore as well. All of this is pretty exciting stuff, at least it is to me. But growth at a rate of 40,000 jobs per year in Louisiana won't just happen on its own at least not yet. We as citizens must embrace economic development and job growth as our top local, regional, and state priority. Now there are a lot of things we need to do to help secure this exciting future, but most of them fall into three key focus areas. And the first one is talent development. The single most important factor that will determine our future economic success will be our ability to build a world-class 21st century workforce. For example, we need to make targeted strategic investments in higher education programs like computer science, engineering, and manufacturing operations in order to produce the skilled graduates that we need to keep up with demand and drive our job growth. School boards need to provide more attractive public education options, from supporting more high-performing charter schools to expanding high-demand magnet schools. At the state level, we need to continue to invest in our unique Fast Start training program to ensure that it remains ranked as the number one state workforce training program in America. The second key focus area is regional development. We need to prepare each of our eight regions to maximize its unique economic potential. For example, we need to cultivate more development-ready sites and buildings. It might surprise you to learn that the most common reason we lose a manufacturing project today is that we have more companies interested in investing here than we have development-ready sites available quickly enough to meet their needs. We also must continue to aggressively cultivate our top regional economic assets. All across Louisiana, we have unique infrastructure assets that with the right leadership and targeted investment could each produce thousands of new jobs. Local leaders need to encourage smart community planning to help create places in which people want to live. That means more mixed-use walkable developments and a greater focus on quality of life amenities. The third key focus area is industry development. We need to cultivate a diverse, growth-oriented economic base in every region of Louisiana. Starting with our existing business and industry, which is the foundation of our economy, we need to work aggressively to support their retention and growth, not just our big economic driver companies, but also small businesses and entrepreneurs. We also must work aggressively to attract new growth industries to Louisiana that can help diversify our economy and accelerate our growth. Industries like software development, digital media, aerospace, automotive, and water management. In an increasingly global economy, we need to work aggressively to implement our state's new master plan for international commerce, as that plan alone could result in 15,000 new jobs per year from increased trade and foreign direct investment. And finally, we need to change the way we talk about ourselves as a state. In addition to telling the world about our great food and festivals, we also need to more aggressively promote what a great place Louisiana is for business investment and entrepreneurs. We have a great story to tell. We need to get it out there. Talent development, regional development, and industry development. These are the three critical drivers. This is the hard work it's going to take to transform Louisiana. But it's about so much more than commerce and industry. It's about becoming a state where opportunity is as abundant as our natural resources, and our economy is as vibrant as our culture. It's about empowering individuals to pursue their own unique idea of the American dream, 
right here in Louisiana. For as long as I've lived here, I've encountered someone nearly every week who sincerely believes that our state's destiny has already been written. But it's just not true. We need to embrace a sense of possibility for our state. We need to have conviction that sustained economic growth is a transformational goal worth pursuing. 20 years ago, I had a dream for Louisiana that I hoped was possible. Today, I know it's achievable. With smart choices, thoughtful leadership, and deliberate action, we can change our destiny. We can shape our future. We can create the state of our dreams. This is our time to make possibility reality.